Hey guys, are you here? Today bringing you another video. Um, this video is about intermittent fasting. Uh, more specifically, my experience with intermittent fasting. Um, there's a couple different types of intermittent fasting. Um, different feeding windows, different fasting windows. What I'm doing right now is a 16 hour fast window, or just fast, and uh, an eight hour feeding window. So what this means is my last meal might be at 10 p.m and I won't eat for 16 hours from then, and then I'll eat uh, my next meal about 2 p.m. And I know for a lot of you, <laughs> first hearing this, this might be like, really, <laughs> just are you, what the hell are you doing, man? This is so stupid, you have to eat, you know, what are you doing? Um, this isn't, the, uh, when you first hear it, it sounds like a really crazy idea, but after learning a little bit more about it, it doesn't sound so crazy, and um, I've been doing this for about a month or two now, and I've been really uh, liking the results uh, for a couple reasons, and I'll go over that. Just a couple guys on YouTube, um, or just a couple guys in general, that really preach intermittent fasting. Um, Gregor Gallagher, um, Brandon Carter, and uh, get a lot of inspiration from them. But, um, so let's go into it. Why do I like intermittent fasting? Well, I first looked at it, I thought it was a bunch of monkey business, but uh, I, I'm the type of guy that I just don't really like to eat that much and especially breakfast it really 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 pains me for example um, before I started intermittent fasting about a few months ago you know I'd, I'd sit down I'd wake up and I'd be like alright I have to eat breakfast you know I have to eat breakfast or I'm not gonna gain weight I you know force myself to eat so what I would do is cook myself you know whatever three four eggs um, turkey rice whatever you know whatever I do for normal breakfast and I would sit there I would cook it and I'd sit there and I'd look at it for a while and it was really intimidating because I just don't like to eat that much. I'm, I'm not ever hungry in the mornings. I don't really like to eat ever. Um, I'd look at it and it would just take me <laughs> sometimes, I'm not kidding guys, sometimes I would be sitting there looking at that egg and toast or whatever I would make for almost an hour, two hours just trying to eat it. Just trying to eat my breakfast. So when I first saw it, I was like, okay, this looks really stupid but being able to push my first meal back in the day would be glorious. If I could get decent results by by pushing my first meal, you know, just a few hours back, um, eating my first meal around around lunchtime, really, and I'm still eating breakfast, but just around lunchtime, that would be amazing. So I did more research. Um, sorry if it's a little windy here, but I did more research um, about intermittent fasting, and what I found was actually pretty interesting. All of the stuff you can find online, so don't take it from me, guys. You can uh, do your own research if you want. But what I found was when the body uses energy. It can take it from three different sources. And I'm, I'm summarizing, so this might not be exactly correct, but this is what I got from it. So when your body needs energy, it might take it from a few different sources. The easiest source for your body to get energy from is glycogen, which is stored in your liver. And once these stores are depleted, once your glycogen stores are depleted, then your body looks elsewhere for energy. It goes, all right, I need energy. I'm out of glycogen. What do I do? And then it looks towards your fat. Fat is just simply stored energy, so it looks for your fat on your body, and it'll say, okay, um, I'll start using fat for energy, and this will go on for a while, and that's what intermittent fasting does. It, it depletes your glycogen levels because you haven't eaten. Oh, glycogen comes from carbs. Carbs are, um, I talked about this in another video. I'm going to actually turn around for a second here. Um, carbs are um, converted into glycogen, and your body uses glycogen for energy, but fat stores are used after that. You can see Julia in the background there, say hi. Um, fat stores are used after your glycogen levels are depleted. And you'll, your body will be essentially running off of its fat, which is brilliant, you know, you're, you're just <laughs> using fat for energy, and that's great. So, why, um, or, or then, then after the fat, um, about mm, 16, 18 hours into your fast, then your, your body will say, all right, we need, we need more energy. Where should we look towards? Sorry, some people just scootered by. You can see them in the background, but uh, just going for a little walk here after my workout. Um, so you, your, um, your, your body will say, all right, I need more energy. Where do I get it from? Um, I've already used all my glycogen. Um, we've been running off of fat for a while. Uh, where can I get energy from? And it'll start tearing down your muscle tissue. And this is not good, especially for people trying to put on um, lean muscle mass, because it's just gonna, just gonna take, take your muscle tissue and start giving you energy that way, which is terrible. So essentially, you can either run off of carbs, fats, or proteins. It's kind of just to simplify it a little bit. Um, works a little bit differently than that, but just for argument's sake. Um, 
So basically what intermittent fasting does is it trains your body to run off of its fat stores instead of um, its other energy stores, which is amazing. Um, my experience with it so far, I've only been doing it for a month or two. Um, maybe maybe a little bit longer, I'm not really too sure. Didn't really track where I, when I started exactly, but just kind of eased my way into it. And let me tell you guys, I've been loving it. Um, I really like pushing my meal back. I hate, I'm not a big eater. I don't like eating breakfast. When I wake up, I just, uh, quite frankly, I just want to go to the gym or hang out, work on my Twitch, my YouTube, whatever. I don't like to um, eat in the morning when I wake up. I'm just not hungry. Um, this is um, amazing for pretty much effortlessly staying lean because your body is just trained to run off of its fat. So that's awesome. I'm liking it so far. Little disclaimer though, I've only been doing it for you know a month or two. So, you know, that's just my experience so far. Maybe in three or four months, maybe it'll take a toll on me. Maybe I won't like it. Maybe um, down the road, it, it will be something I don't enjoy. But right now, I'm really enjoying it. And um, I, I would say it's not for everybody. Maybe give it a try if you think it's something that you would like, but uh, I wouldn't prescribe it to everybody. It's really nice for getting lean. So a couple of you might be like, oh, well, why are you trying to, uh, why are you intermittent fasting if you're trying to gain weight? It's a good question. Um, I am slow bulking right now, so with intermittent fasting what I'm doing is trying to stay as lean as possible while slowly putting on uh, mass. So what I'm doing is I'm still eating in a surplus, so I'm not actually um, losing body fat, but what I'm doing is I'm eating in a slight surplus, so I'm putting on a little bit of that muscle and keeping my body fat about the same because my body is running off of its fat stores. So it's pretty awesome, pretty incredible. Hope you guys like this video. Um, don't take it from me. You can do a bunch of research online. There's a bunch of health benefits from it too, but I won't go into that too much because I'm not a doctor or whatever. But um, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope everybody enjoyed. Um, if you did, give the video a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.